Iran reportedly has test-fired a cruise missile from a submarine for the first time during annual military drills in the Strait of Hormuz, a vital passageway for oil tankers. This comes amid heightened tensions with the United States over President Trump's withdrawal from the 2016 Iran nuclear deal. Trey Yinkst has the latest from our bureau in Jerusalem. John, the Iranians have test-fired a cruise missile in the Strait of Hormuz as part of their annual military drills. The test, though, further raising tension between the United States and Iran. The Iranian test today was significant since the cruise missile was launched for the first time from a submarine. According to Iranian state media, the test was successful and at least two other Iranian submarines have the same launching capability. In the past three days during the military drills, surface-to-surface -surface missiles were launched while attack helicopters and warships were tested. More than 100 vessels participated in this weekend's drills, according to reports as the United States and Israel continued to warn Iran against provocative action in the Middle East. On Sunday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu discussed the growing threat of Iran at his weekly security cabinet meeting. The Israelis and Americans have spoken at length over the past several months about what many officials see as aggressive action by Iran across the region, primarily in Syria. I have a clear message to the Iranian regime that wants to destroy Israel. Israel will continue to act as necessary in order to block Iranian military entrenchment in Syria. With military drills this weekend and thousands of Iranian-backed troops still operating on the ground in Syria, both the Israelis and Americans worry that verbal threats from the Iranian regime in Tehran could lead to military action in the future. John? Trey Yingst reporting. Trey, thank you.